Good day, everybody. Welcome to today's video. Today's video doing something different. Fire bands are still on in Alberta. So I decided to do some hotel camping this weekend. Come out to the beautiful Drumheller Valley to explore. I usually try to come out here once a year, every couple of years. I love this area. A lot of people come out here for the dinosaurs. But I come out here because of the rich history of coal mining from way back in the day. There were so many coal mines here, so many stories to tell. And right now, just exploring. And this old Jeep thing is still here. This thing has been here for as long as I have known. It's kind of a waste, old willies, just to kind of have it sit here rot away. Look at this. Make a sweet overland break. Got a winch bumper on it from way back in the day. Look at this thing. Look at those hubs sticking way out. This thing was needing major work. The old green elevator. Old cock shut tractor. I see some cacti right down there. There's rattlesnakes in this area too, so you gotta watch. This old phone booth is still here. Got a bunch of classic radios in there. Alberta government telephones. deadly. It's kind of like the ghost town of Dorothy. There's still a few people that live here. Classic old car. Like an old shop. Oh yeah, the store. A little plaque. 1937, 1979. There's a couple churches down the way. Look at this old engine block right there. Shut her down. There's like an old tractor in there. Treasure. It was almost lunchtime, so we decided to head to Wayne to go to Last Chance Saloon. If you're ever in the Drumheller Valley, this is the place you gotta go check out. The food is amazing and the place is very unique. And it has a very rich and colorful history. And if you Google, you're gonna find out it's also one of the most haunted places in Alberta. Now, according to history, the bar is directly across the road from a site of the Rose Deer coal mine. And at one point in time, they used to feed 250 men a day. About 60 slept upstairs in rooms 
In the back, there used to be a dining room and a big kitchen. This whole area is basically a ghost town now, but back in the day, it was all coal mines. And inside the bar itself, they have old photographs of what it was like way back in the day. As the card had showed earlier in the video, Drumheller in the surrounding area was no bucket of sunshine and rainbows. It was a very violent town back in the day with all the miners. This bar, according to the website visitlastchancesaloon.com, talks about this bar used to be called the bucket of blood because of the fights that the miners got into. Also, if you go inside the bar, if you look against the wall going towards the west, I believe it is, you're going to see three bullet holes in the wall. As the story goes, a bunch of people ordered some drinks. The bartender brought them the drinks. They forgot to pay, so the bartender calmly walked back to the bar, pulled out a 45 caliber revolver, and fired three shots in the wall, one over each of their heads. The customers wasted no time in leaving. Like I said before, if you're looking for a truly authentic place to go and eat, Last Chance Saloon and Wayne is the place to be. You can't get any more original than what you're looking at right now inside the bar. Full of antiques, full of old photographs, things that have been collected throughout the years. And it is a very cool place this is a big biker bar hangout in the summer times i rode my bike here a few times back in the day when we used to have one the food has always been delicious and very reasonably priced after we ate time to jump in the car and head off to the next stop we can't get into our hotel till after four o'clock so we're going to check out some more things the next stop of our adventure we went to the atlas coal mine it is a well worth attraction to go and check out Unfortunately, we want to do the mine portal hike and the tour, but they were all sold out. So we traveled back into town and we grabbed these sodas that were made locally in town. And while we were at this little pit stop, we saw this auto body shop that had some classic cars out front. So of course I had to stop and check them out. They were pretty nice at Fort Fairlane, which is pretty sweet. The next stop is that we are heading on a little adventure and we had to come to this lookout point. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it's pretty fenced off, but if your vehicle went over, there's no recovery. You ain't gotta have a winch cable long enough to reach the bottom. And I'm pretty sure there was an old car down there from way back in the day. MJ didn't believe me that they had a ferry. So fair enough, I had to prove it to her that the ferry did indeed exist. I've been on it a few times. I rode my Indian motorcycle across it when we came out here for a trip in the Drumheller Valley way back in the day. It's nice to see that it's still operating. It's pretty cool. It's probably like the world's shortest ferry, maybe a couple hundred feet across the river, and it was free. So if you're in the area, the views are beautiful. There's some places to stop and check out the views, and you got time to burn. It's well worth it across the ferry and now we're on our way to head her back to the hotel room. This card reveals what Drumheller is famous for. Dinosaurs. One of the richest dinosaur finds in the world is here in the Drumheller Valley. There are dinosaur fossils everywhere. You go out in the hills, it's never ending. We did stop at Valley Brewery. I must say if you're in Drumheller, stop in there you get a flight of beer you get these cards and of course you guys have been seeing them throughout the video these cards depending on the beers you get will tell a different story 
about things in the area, which I thought was extremely cool. And as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of sour beers. And that, I think, strawberry rhubarb, yes, was a really good sour beer. And I think that's the best thing about the brewery is having those little cards. Kind of tells you a like, little story. Especially if you're in the area touring around. Uh, we're just walking. Gonna go to this Bernie's and the Boys or Bernie's Bistro. It's supposed to be really good food. <sighs> Gonna go check it out. Probably uh, go back to the brewery afterwards. You having fun, MJ? I am. You liquored? Remember, we gotta cross the river to get back to the room. I'm gonna throw you over. Throw you over the river. That's the place right there, and gotta check out that car. So we stopped at Bernie and the Boys. It's a pretty unique place. Uh, not as cool as Wayne Saloon. Uh, the food wasn't as good either, but it was still better than most places. And then after we finished eating, gotta go back to the Valley Brewery and get another flight of beer. Check out some more history in the back of the cards. That was brilliant. And of course, there's some people cruising around and some old pickup trucks. We're just take a little quick stroll downtown I love how the eavesdrops just go like over your head and then dump water right on the street I love that and I just I said this before but I have such a connection with the time period related to these old buildings are over a hundred some years ago I'm pretty sure I'm an old soul and that's the previous time period I'd lived anyways back to the dinosaurs if you're walking around Drumheller, there are dinosaurs everywhere you look. I was here as a kid, and I was really big into dinosaurs. I must have been like 10 years old or so, and I thought it was the greatest trip that my parents had took us on. And that's probably one of the reasons why this place has always been uh, special to me, because of the memories I had when I was a childhood coming here. All right, it's next morning. We stopped at this Whiff's Waffle House or Pancake House, and I really love this train that cruises around. Hanging from the ceiling. And this place closes early, like 2 o'clock. So it's basically a breakfast joint. I love that painting. If you look closely in the painting, you can see a train that goes through the painting to like a little town. But this is our breakfast. But when I looked at what MJ got, I had regrets because I should have got what MJ got because strawberries and whipped cream. Yum. That looks so good. Fun fact for you. MJ will not walk with her feet on the carpet in the hotel room. No. She has to have slippers on. It's gross. Because she's afraid to get like athlete's foot or something with her feet touching the carpet. I bet you everyone agrees with me. Weakness. Weakness is life. <laughs> so there we are. After I had breakfast, we went back downtown. We had some time to burn, so we're going to cruise around downtown, check out the old building. So if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you guys know that before I became a millwright, I said be I used to work as a delivery driver for Pepsi. So Drumheller was one of those places on my route. So I got to learn a lot of things throughout the years. And this Alexandria Hotel, but especially the Waldorf Hotel beside me, is one of the places I used to deliver to. And the person who ran it at that time actually showed me in the basement where there was tunnels that were walled up. And the story that they said was during prohibition that the miners had built these tunnels connecting the old buildings throughout downtown they had brothels in there gambling and drinking i thought to myself why wouldn't they open up these tunnels and have them for tourism but then i realized back then they probably didn't have any water sewer lines going through the streets so nowadays with doing that it probably obviously destroyed the tunnels and unable to be able to actually check them out And of course, before leaving town, we stopped off at the Royal Tyrell Museum, which is the biggest tourist attraction in the area. And the reason why Drumheller has the tourism it does 
with having over 1 million people come to that town during the summertime is a lot of people. And this is the reason why it's a museum. If you haven't been, I definitely say stop in and check it out because it's pretty amazing. Now, I picked up some things from the brewery. But this Coal in the Valley book I picked up from the museum is the only place I was able to find it. And this book tells about the history and the miners' story of what was going on during that time. And it's actually a really cool book if you're into the coal mining and history. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll see you guys in the next one.